Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video, shop update. Yes, it has been a while since I have done a shop update and I get emails from time to time from you folks asking me what am I working on in the shop at Classic VW Bugs in New York. And yeah, winter is coming, doors are closed. It's almost December 2018, near the end of the year. So I figured I'd give you guys a tour of what we are working on and uh, explain what we're doing. So, all right, let's start back here. And uh, we got a 1958 Ragtop Beetle. This, if you guys uh, don't know, this car, color is very popular with our clients, this evergreen metallic that we've been using. Um, this is probably the third or fourth car we probably put this color on. People seem to, to really like it. This is a Build-A-Bug project for a cool guy named Mike, and uh, he's doing this for his wife as well. It's a 56 Ragtop Beetle. So we're putting together this car, putting some final touches on the body. We had to do some corrections on the hood, fenders and such, um, but we are building the motor right now. I'll show you that in a minute. Let's come around this way. 1966 Sunroof Beetle. Uh, it's like a beautiful gunmetal metallic. This is a card I got out of Washington State. Um, that I had it for sale for a while as an open project. I never got around to it and I finally got a guy to sign on to it. Uh, he's a great guy. He's bought from us before and uh, I actually have his 1958 Evergreen Metallic Ragtop for sale on the website right now. So uh, he is selling that and we are starting in December. We'll be working on this little guy. So let's come around this way. Here's my beauty, the car that I finished this year and that I drove around with uh, 2018. This is also my wedding car, guys. Uh, my wife and I had a nice Volkswagen wedding, and there were a few other cars there as well that I, I built uh, from my good friends that were there, and uh, this was our car. Uh, 1970, body off restoration. I did a 12-part video series on this car, guys. There's a, over 700 pictures in the photo gallery online with the restoration book. And uh, she came out stellar everywhere I go with this car. I'm getting so much attention. Now I know I don't go much into these later years, but uh, this car just popped up into my neighborhood. A guy called me up and said, hey, come get it. It's been sitting in my, my, uh, my driveway, the, the side of my driveway for over 30 years, sunk in the mud. Can you just come get it and come save it? So I said, ah, it's in the area, might as well. You know, just go take a look. And 70 is a really cool year. It's the last year to the 1600, uh, the, I'm sorry, the last year of the single port and motor, and I do like the single port motor, 1600 single port, and 70 was the only year that had that in the United States, and it's just a spectacular motor. It runs really well, um, but this car came out stellar, and I painted it a mini BMW color, uh, spicy orange metallic. Um, I do love Clementine orange from the 1970s. Uh, 70 and 71, so I kind of figured this was clementine orange with a little metallic thrown into it and uh, She came out stellar guys. I'm just so bummed now that winter's here and can't really take her out too much because It's cold, but um, really really beautiful car And then we got over here 1962 turquoise this car came out of California uh, I do believe uh, this is the original owner to this car and they shipped it from Cali to me to have this restored and uh, we put a beautiful paint job on it, went down to bare metal, and uh, we're able to uh, bring this, this baby back. We'll be jumping on this car most likely early 2019. Turquoise is a very common color. This is probably the second or third turquoise car that has come through our shop. Uh, very popular color back in the day. This is going back bone stock, bone interior, everything that was offered, uh, the color combination from back then. So. Very, very cool. And here's the back of that other evergreen metallic uh, 56 ragtop oval. If you guys can get oval ragtops, do pick them up because they are becoming scarce, um, especially original ones without the cut in roof. So as time goes on, I guess we're going to start seeing more and more roofs uh, cut in to these cars. Here's the really nice interior that we did on this 70 convertible. Just so nice. Uh, I love this. this is espresso tweed and this is a uh, black vinyl uh, through Sofine. And you know, Sofine's black vinyl is not like black black. It's like a, almost like a brown black, but it's dark, but um, really, really nice. And here's the door panel there. 
I went with the earlier armrests. I don't like those big blocky armrests that came out in 68. I like the 67 and earlier armrests with the chrome trim. I thought that was a nice touch. I also put the 68, 69 uh, window cranks here because they have a little bit of chrome trim on them. Any little accents of chrome, I, I just I like more than black plastic looking things, you know. So um, I did go with the padded dash. I almost went with a hard dash on this Beetle. I uh, wanted the Euro look, but um, I'd have to source knobs from Europe because these knobs are a little bit longer because they need the depth for the dash. And then the glove box door is actually, this is a different size. So if I did go without a pad, this glove box door would have a bit of a gap around the perimeter of it because there's no pad. So uh, I would have to source that glove box from Europe as well. And I heard that's kind of difficult, but so I decided to stay true to the car, but uh, it's not bad. I, I don't mind the padded dash, but I do like the hard dash over the pad. And I did, if you did notice before, I took out the high back seats and put low back in. So very, very cool. And I went with the pillows too from SoFine. And there's the book that I made. Awesome motor here, 1600 single port motor. I really, really love this motor, guys. And I did put a big bore piston and cylinder kit on here, uh, but I still kept the stock look. Um, it just looks really nice. The car cruises so well uh, down the highway, not a hiccup. Uh, so very, very cool. You can have some good pickup on your Beetle without mod modifying it to the point where it looks non-stock. So really, really nice. So here's the front of the turquoise Beetle. Paint job came out stellar on this car. Used Fran Rock paint in Suffer, New York. Uh, they did a great job. And here to some is a Holy Grail Beetle. Uh, I still have yet to jump on this car. Uh, this is a 1954 oval window convertible. One owner car, I got this out of Connecticut guys, you know the story. Uh, I got this several years ago, sold it and then I bought it back. Uh, I regretted selling this car, but I do have it now and I'm, I'm glad it's in my possession. Uh, it's just got so much originality to it. It's got the, the correct egg tail lights, the correct deck lid. Uh, the car is basically unrestored. Uh, just, just a beauty. I mean, the doors and the lines, everything is so nice on it. The doors open and close very nicely. Here's the original door panels, original seats, original seat upholstery. That just looks, I mean, we're still in a toss up. Do we restore it or do we leave it as is? That is the question. Uh, but just, uh, just a beauty, you know? Door shut amazing. I love those early doors. They got such a refrigerator sounding clang to it like in the early 50s. Really, really cool. Here's the, uh, the original engine too. She turns and I bet you we can get her started. So very cool, 1954 oval window convertible. So we got some gas tanks there. Here's a deck lid for the 56 that's sitting right over here. Okay, and then we got some more parts, these are brand new parts. You see Wolfsburg West, CIP1. These are the parts to the, to basically to this gold car. It's a 57 oval window rag top. Huh? This is also for a client, build a bug project that we are hoping to get finished before the end of the year. I'm getting there, I'm on the interior now. Pretty much all the trim and electrical components are all hooked up here. This was painted a, uh, a gold metallic Really nice. Um, they did have metallic beige in the 50s for convertibles. This is pretty close to that, uh, which is what I like. I, at first, I didn't know um, how gold would look on a beetle. I've never really seen one up close, and we did this, and it's, it's actually growing on me. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, great guy out of New York that is on this car. He's going for a 12 volt system. So we have a uh, 1600 single port motor in his engine compartment. Uh, they want to cruise down to the beach by the Hamptons. Really, really cool. So here's the brand new rims that we bought out of CIP1.com. They make the smoothie rims now. And uh, we were able to get those in. They're actually pretty cool. Um, media blasted them, painted them black, put our signature beauty ring on. Uh, but what we're having trouble with is putting a stock hubcap on. These clips are tough. Um, so that is a little trick we're... Still trying to learn there. I'll get to you on that one. So I started the headliner. As you can see, I was working on this yesterday. Again, the 
the beige tweed. Everyone seems to like our look. And I uh, got our door posts in. So got our insulation down. It's got some nice pans, very clean car. Dash is gonna look nice too. So looking forward to finishing this one. And here's our next project that we are stripping right now. Uh, this car is gonna need some help. As you can see, this is a 56 oval window. This was also unrestored. It was in Strato Silver. Uh, have the original seats, the upholstery is on the seats, really nice. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, this car crossed the RM auction block. It was either RM or Gooding, and uh, they put some praise on this car. And um, they actually thought it was going to do a little bit better, I guess, uh, on the block. But um, the owner who is having us build it for him, restore it for him, got it for a good price. Uh, but as you can see, there are some rust concerns here. You know, uh, heater channels, as you can see here, they're definitely going to need work to the rocker panels right there. Uh, you got your floor pans. This floor is completely gone. So, yep, body off, media blast, do it all up. Um, pretty interesting car though. So, again, the motor turns in this bad, bad boy as well. I bet you we could start this too, but of course it'll get a tear down and, and a rebuild. Here's the other heater channel on the other side, the driver's side. I don't know why this channel and this side floor pan are completely shot. But the other side is a little bit stronger. Um, so, but this is definitely going to have to be replaced. Probably go with Gerson's heater channels for this car. Here's another shot of that gold car, that 57 oval that we're working on. Really nice, guys. I mean, the stance looks real good. The, the, the color combination is going to look really nice. Let me show you the motor, actually. Yeah. Really nice motor. Brings the fun and the life back into the car. They want some safety. You know, they want to be able to have some good, uh, you know, electrical power going through the car, good starting power, good lights, things like that. But uh, this, this motor should have no problem getting up on the highway. Then here's that beautiful ruby red 67 Beetle that I spoke about last week. I made a video on showcasing this car uh, and all the features on it. We had it for sale on our website. Well, I'm proud to say, yeah, she did not last long. I think it was priced right and uh, we have received the deposit. Uh, she's pretty much sold, guys. And uh, off to a new buyer. So sad to see it go, but uh, I'll probably come across a few more of these in the future. I'm always looking for cars like this. Um, where people, uh, you know, can't nece you know, don't necessarily have the funds to have a build a bug done, or don't want to wait, say, two years, for us to build them something. So, uh, when we come across cars like this, um, it's good for you guys, you know, in, in, in this kind of price range. And here is the 36 horsepower motor that we are building for our build a bug project over there in the evergreen metallic, the 56 ragtop. That's going to Mike. And here's his motor build. He is, of course, going with an Abarth muffler from Wolfsburg West. I got the tins out right now, getting powder coated, and it should look like a sharp motor as usual. Um, people ask, you know, again, what we paint the blocks, things like that. Light coat of paint, cast iron by VHT. I like to put on my blocks. It's like a dark, dark gray, dark metallic kind of. It's a metallic paint in a way. I guess once it dries on a block like this, it's not going to really show much metallic, but uh, if you spray it on, you know, another metal surface or something, you'll see some metallic. But uh, it's, a, it's got a nice color to it, and uh, I think it bounces off, you know, other things on the motor, the silver uh, items on the motor. So, pretty cool. 36 horse build. We always like doing these. So, this is currently what we are working on, guys. In addition to my build -a bug lineup, which has now increased to about a dozen cars in the lineup um, so basically I have 12 clientele cars in my lineup um, a few of them are here already but I still have others waiting in the wings waiting to come here I am limited on space so uh, I can't have them all stored here at this time but uh, that's basically it guys I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you have any questions uh, email me chris at classicvwbugs.com or visit my website of course www.classicvwbugs.com and if you've got any comments, suggestions, questions about this video, anything you want to add, feel free to leave it in the comments section below and uh, I'll be back next time.
All right. Take care.